Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a low impact core repair heat. For those of you who are very advanced and your core is very awakened and very strong, you can use this workout as a warm-up. Use it as a warm-up because it will awaken the core and then you can move on to another heat or another workout and your core will be really connected through the moves that are a little more complicated so or a little more difficult this is going to be intricate and focus on really feeling your deep abdominal muscles feeling the small details the fibers of each and every muscle feeling your core connecting using your mind to connect to your core and keep coming back to this class if you feel that there is more work to be done here so it's going to be a hit but nonetheless low impact so we can focus on form and we can focus on our breath and on connecting to our muscles since we're working on the deep abdominal muscles even the t-zone and repairing if there is weakness damage misalignment weak fascia weak connective tissue then we're going to work on that after pregnancy of course after surgery there is usually loss of connection to the muscles properly separation for some diastasis recti so we're going to work on that so focus on your form i'll show you the first exercise before we begin because there is a beginner version if you're just recently postpartum and a more advanced version if you can if you have given birth more than a year ago so the first one is going to be called the wave if you have given birth in the last year then stick with that and you're just going to move the belly in a wave form so pelvic tilt connect the lower belly lift 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 pull in and release and this is really up to you to really connect here it doesn't look like much but it's a very powerful exercise to awaken and strengthen the belly flatten the belly reconnect the muscles now if you are not a beginner we're just going to do the wave in yoga and reverse it wave to king's cobra and then round the back round 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 pull the belly in pull 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 down dog and so forth all right let's begin and remember to flow with strength and ease The wave starting in down dog if you're doing the advanced version Plie. Here we're going to do a combination. Lower down, only upper body moving. Lower down, twist, twist. So only the upper body is moving. Really squeeze the muscles, press into the outer and inner edges of the feet and feel your core connecting, moving, repairing, healing use use your core muscles here to move lay down in your thigh circle so you're gonna lay on your back extend the right leg left foot on the floor and you're going to bring your hand onto your belly and draw circles with the toes on the right side open the heel up so that you're really firing up the lower core you can press your elbows down for support really really feel your core the entire time this is the most important part here 
Great, and we're gonna move to the other side. Lower back on the floor. Lift your heel. And you can bring your hand right above the pubic bone. Should be really strong. We're working on the lower core and the inner thigh here. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze. And we have pelvic tilts. Scoop it in, lower down. So really lift and really squeeze. Feel your muscles. Even if you are advanced, this exercise is perfect for connecting to your muscles, feeling your pelvis, aligning it. If you feel weaknesses, Very good. The last one would be legs opening, toe dips. You can reach over the head or over the heart and or elbows on the floor and just dip the toes lower back on the floor. And again, feel everything connecting. Keep your knees at 90 degrees. Great, back to the top, the wave. Uh, Plie-em. thigh circles, press your lower back into the floor, open the heel, press into your elbows, into the triceps so that your pelvis is level, hips are level. This is very targeting, low impact, it might feel easy but I'm getting getting worked worked out in a different way. I was gonna say winded, but I won't go that far. I'm just feeling a lot of work happening. Really squeeze. This is all about how strong and how deeply you can connect. With small moves. Pelvic tilts. Really, as you tilt, squeeze the lower belly, mula bandha. Kegels. It's a really interesting connection here. When you first realize you can squeeze those 
muscles there is quite ecstatic. Pull everything in towards the midline. Knees at 90 degrees, open them out. Lower back on the floor. Lower down, lower down, lower down. Again, lurk, working on the lower back, on the lower belly, squeeze. This is densifying the connective tissue underneath the muscles. Wave, back to the top. Pull the belly in almost in a vacuum at the down dog level. Inner thigh circles. Really squeeze. As I was saying, this makes the fascia pliable but also strong. This moves. We're not working on rectus abdominis. An external. Ups. And you see, you have to squeeze so hard you can talk. Because I definitely can do this move and just be relaxed. No, that's not the point. You have to put all you got in this move. Where you are out of breath, you can't speak. That's how much you're squeezing. So these are not just moves, these are intentional moves. Lower back on the floor. Pelvic tilt. You can give me a little stomach vacuum here. So we're not just moving through the moths, we're feeling each fiber of our core. Rest. Toe dips, press the lower back into the floor.
Oh my goodness, <laughs> we are done. I didn't even realize it. <sighs> I was thinking we have a whole new round. All right, so just like that, we're done. Let's do a few vacuums, which I had planned for the end. <sighs> Bring your hands this. I find it to be the easiest, deepest way to perform vacuums. If yours don't get very hollow, that's fine. Continue. Continue until you get there. So you're going to exhale and use your connection to your core to hollow it out. One more, hold it. I can't think of a better exercise than vacuums. All right, finishing, finisher. Stand tall, elbows back, reach one side, the other. Reach, 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 reach. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, elbows back. Let's do opposite knee to elbow. Squeeze. Again, an easy seemingly move, but if you put in tension here. It has a potential to awaken that area. All right, let's stretch it out. Inhale the hands over the head and again, extending the tailbone down, lift that lower belly. Up and in. Up and in is the, the direction. And let's shake it out, reaching side to side. And thank you all for joining me today. Come back to this class if you feel that you need the work, deep core repair, or just use it as a warm up. Use it before other workouts because it is light enough to warm you up and to really make you connect to the muscle. So then it is almost awakening the core so that when you go to another workout class, your core is so connected, it's engaged throughout the movements that are a little more complex or a little more difficult. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you all for joining me today and sharing your energy with me. And remember to flow with strength and ease.